as we get closer and closer to Eon 1 of Roblox Souls RNG, we get more and more information. So today, what we are going to do is check out some of the new stuff that we didn't clear in our last video that could be coming to Eon 1, which will hopefully be the reviving update of Souls RNG. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like and of course subscribe to the channel. We're trying to get to 150 thousand subscribers but guys i'm excited for yawn one let me know if you are too down below in the comments and after you watch this video make sure you watch until the end let me know what your favorite feature that could be coming to the update well, let's not waste any more time though and let's hop into the souls rng discord server to start taking a look here's a quick look at the eon one progress in case you have not yet seen it map is fully done ores are almost done gear ui it's all almost done uh, but they, they haven't tested yet but it's getting there guys it's going to be a major major update which is extremely exciting so today we're going to be taking a look at some more possible auras that are going to be coming um we also could look a quickly at the halloween section because i f i believe eon one is going to be right around halloween i think it's going to be tied in with the halloween update that's just my theory i feel like it will come out in about a week and five days week two weeks something around there we are going to take a look at these white listed auras uh because there's a good bit of them I have not yet seen. So we're going to go through them, start taking a look. We'll look at some of the other features that could be coming to the game. And then also some possible Halloween ores. So this video will have a lot of content. I wish you guys uh, are relaxed and ready to watch all this. All right. First up, we have a fault. All right. Take a look at this. And you know what? This totally reminds me of the old glitch. <laughs> One in 30. Okay. I was about to say... Hopefully this isn't like a glitch biome exclusive one in one trillion. I'm glad it's only one in 30. I think this is, I mean, for one in 30, it might honestly be overdone, but hey, whenever the game adds new auras, a lot of the times it's literally just auras that are rare. So, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing some lower rarity auras being added to the game. Next up, oh, Overture History We Work. Oh my God, I'm excited. Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh holy architect of eternity over to your history one in three million. dude even the just the font looks so much better the clock actually ticks bro oh my god look even the clocks at the bottom move they all move together oh that is just so cool what okay yeah, no, that, uh, that is something I definitely need, please. I have over to our history, and I absolutely do want that rework. Oh, another lower aura. Wow, two of them today. That's surprising. One in 100 confetti. Another very simple aura, but, like, souls, you don't have a lot of new simple auras, so maybe it is worth adding. All right, let's see who we got up next. Oh, my God. What is this? Why does this look exactly like... Ah, uh, shoot. I'm blanking. Um, Oblivion. This... Wow. This actually looks exactly like Oblivion. Nightbrenner. Wow. Look at this. Holy crap. What even is the rarity? Nightbrenner, the ancestor. Is this an Oblivion potion aura? This looks like an Oblivion potion aura. Like, it's got the same exact style. And it also doesn't even have a rarity. It just says the ancestor. I... I think this is an Oblivion Potion Aura. And low-key, I'll mess with it. <laughs> this is sick. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, no. I I vote to see that one added. Absolutely. Dynamic Force V4. Okay, fourth version of whatever this aura is. Got the Symphony cutscene, but tinted orange. Okay, got a little bit of a pop-up there. Looks like Gargantua. Alright, let's see what we got. We have, oh my god, it has an equip animation? What? There's like no wars in the game with an equip animation. That's sick. Oh, look at that. That's such a sick animation. Dynamic fours. One in question mark, question mark, question mark. Uh, it's something in the millions though. Look at that, because it's got 808, 808 next to it. That's sick, dude. Wow, I love this little uh, startup thing. They should have more ores like this where they have an equip animation. Calf A. Oh my god, we've seen one like this before. Is this like a recreation of it? It is! Yo, we, we've seen this ore before. It looked exactly like this. I think this like little thing in the back is new. And it's a lot more polished. There's now like some glow coming from the window that wasn't there before. 
There's a close sign. That's sick, bro. <laughs> It'd be cool if it was an open sign when it was daytime in game, and then it changed to close once it became nighttime in game. By the way, guys, remember, let me know in the comments once we're all done with this video, uh, which aura is your favorite from all the ones we check out today? All right. Exotic Void Revamp. There isn't a... There's a... Okay, never mind. Oof. I was... I, I thought for a second this was a rework of an aura called Exotic Void, and I was going to be like, what the heck? There's no Exotic Void aura. But I'm not realizing it's just the name. Very confusing name, by the way. But hey. Oh my god. I love the... I love, like, the wind. The butterfly winds coming off the back. You've got a glowing thing in your heart, glowing thing in your eyes, and then this sword that looks sick. Dude, this looks sick. Oh my god. Dude, the auras we're seeing today are actually so cool. Next up... Oh god. Something... <laughs> the aura I can't pronounce, and it's gonna get a mutation. That's interesting. Okay. Not really an aura I would expect a mutation from, but... Sheesh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This, it just looks majestic. What? This just looks, there's no, this just looks majestic. Like, wow. <laughs> I love the trees. I love like the, the particles coming off of trees. It's like leaves. It's a big aura though. Holy crap. That is giant. That's nice looking, but also I feel like it would give me a headache. <laughs> the, these uh, vibrant colors, these are like celestial colors. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Those reminds me a lot of like a celestial mutation, really. Oh my god. Steampunk. Steampunk has got to be one of my favorite genres. Please tell me this is done well. <laughs> Yo, this is sick. This is so cool. You've got the gears. You've got the gears. You've got a little train. And you even have the hat, dude. Oh my god. This is so cool. This is perfect. They, they could branch out on Matrix so much. They added Matrix Overdrive. This would be such a sick mutation. This may this may actually be my favorite aura we've seen today. With the exception of the Overtier History rework. But also, that's a rework, not a new aura. So, so far, out of the auras we've seen today, this one is going to be my favorite so far. This is, this is fire, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> you have this flying around as well. Nah, that's just so good. Let's keep looking. We've got a few more here in this section to look at. And then we'll take a look at some other stuff. Okay, Pyromaniac. What is 7 million? No, please. Please. I don't know if it's just me. I think I've said this in a previous video. But I feel like it's hard to make an aura around flames look good. Okay, there's Aquatic Flame. Uh, Hades. Like, I feel like it's just hard to make it look good. Because it's flames. What can you make out of flames that is cool? And, you know, this doesn't look bad. Like, this doesn't look bad. But a one in seven and a half million, dude? Nah. Nah, dude. I... No. There's just... It's one in seven and a half million. I don't, I don't think this could, this could work out being that rare. But if it was lower, like one in 500,000 or something, I think it would be a decent aura. Aquatic reimagined. Okay, interesting way to say reworked. <laughs> Aquatic reimagined, guys. Not rework, reimagined. Looks cool. I actually like this. Um, to be fair, I don't like aquatic. And, you know, they had aquatic flame, which looked horrible. Glad they did a rework of that. Still doesn't look good, though. Like, I think we should just leave aquatic be. The aura is bad. Let's all accept it. <laughs> let's just... Let's just not touch it. Well, we'll remember Aquatic being one of the worst ores. Thank God they reworked Virtual, though, because... Gosh, Virtual was just the biggest hated on ore out there. Alright, a Archangel rework. Okay, this will be interesting. Dude, Archangel reworks, we've seen a few before. They look sick. Like, literally just make it bigger and a little bit touched up on the VFX, and it looks so good. Let's see what these people did. Oh, they went down a different path. Okay. Looks to be roughly the same size, but they've changed the VFX up a bit. Um, I can't remember if the current Archangel wins flap. Someone let me know in the comments that has Archangel. Do they flap like this? I think they do, but I'm not too sure. The whole how they hold the sword is a little different, I think. And it also um, definitely looks a lot better. It just looks better. Like, I don't know how to describe it. 
it looks the same, but better. <laughs> like the VFX coming up from the ground, I think are probably the biggest change here. I don't believe the current Archangel has any VFX that come up off like the ground like this. So, hey, that's cool. And that is, that is definitely a W. Uh, Celestial Reimagined V2. Another reimagined <laughs> of Celestial. I mean, this is cool. There, I mean, there's nothing to really add to it. Looks better than the current Celestial, but it shouldn't look amazing because it's Celestial. It's a 1 3 50,000. And I said this with Exotic and Celestial before. Those are the two auras that players keep the most of because you need them to craft Heavenly Potions. So making your Celestial and Exotic look good, absolutely worth it because a lot of people are going to see it. All right. An Abyssal Hunter rework. This is needed, bro. Abyssal and Peach and Archangel should all get a rework in Eon 1. It would just make sense. Since, you know, they're the first three rare auras in Eon 1. We're kind of going to a new generation. So it'd be cool if they all got a rework. This looks sick, dude. Oh my god, I love the new VFX. This formula is so cool. <laughs> You're out on the anchor. And then where's the other form shifter? Dude, that is so sick. This actually looks so good. I would start using all my potions in Rainy Biome to try and get that. Yo, this down here looks sick, but we got to check this one out first. Chroma- Oh my god, another chromatic mutation. Ch chromatic stellar aerium? <laughs> I don't even know what that means. But okay, I like it. I like it. This reminds me of Genesis a lot. I'm not going to lie. The, um... The whole, like, you know, the music note stuff and the stuff exploding up here reminds me, like, a lot of Genesis. But, hey, that still looks cool. All right. What is this? Wait, what was it in English? All right. Carriage. Carriage V3. Oh, this is cool. See? This is just one of those, like, it's a simple idea. It's a simple concept. But it's executed well. And it looks amazing. Like, the whole idea of... It, it makes it look like this is an infinite running aura, where in reality, if you're standing still, you're not moving. But, like, if you're moving, this would look so cool, because you're going to feel like you're actually moving. The wheels are spinning. You've got the stuff coming towards you. I, I guarantee this is, like, a loop. It's This is well put together. Definitely. Definitely, definitely, definitely. I like this a lot. I don't know if it caused any lag, though. I mean, this is, like, a lot of particles you have going through you. But, nonetheless, that definitely looks very cool. All right, let's finish these off, the whitelist stores for this video. And then in another video, we will take a look at the features and Halloween stuff that could be coming in Eon 1. All right. Unknown V4. Okay. I have definitely seen this one before. I think I remember seeing one like this. It's a null exclusive, which I like the idea of. Like, why do we have glitch exclusives, but not null exclusives? Well, I mean, we got Nihility now, but... Dude, that's like a 1 in 1 million. And there's also Undefined, which is like a 1 in 1 million as well. So it's like, not not anything crazy. But something crazy like this might low-key go hard for a null exclusive. Kind of like the idea. Aviator revamp, let's go, dude! <laughs> oh my god. This is so fun. Seeing ores I've seen, like, probably a few months ago... Or maybe a couple decades ago. I can't really tell at this point. But seeing these kinds of auras back again, bro. Oh my god. I remember seeing Aviator so long ago. I know I loved it the first time. Because I just love the whole idea of having models. Like how in Sailor. Or sorry, Sailor. You're riding a bus. A bus. A boat. <laughs> and now in Aviator, you're riding a plane. I just love these, this idea so much. I think the wheels should be up. Why are we flying with the wheels down? But anyways, yeah, no, I love the concept. Definitely would love to see something like that added to the game. Stench. <laughs> okay. Uh, so this is a reminder to not play the game for 365 days. One in 300. Dude, this is so cool. We've seen three ores today that are, or sorry, one in 3,000. Three ores today that are, um, slouched back from sitting too much. Um, <laughs> that are, uh, not rare. And they don't look overly complicated, but they have nice ideas to them. You know what I mean? Like, these are three auras I would absolutely love <laughs> to see added. So, hopefully those are all added. A different Celestial revamp. Okay, this looks very similar to the other one. Um, oh, why is it moving, like, weird, though? It's, like, not moving slow. It looks like it's, like, glitching up. 
That kind of looks weird, but hey, that's cool. Error V2. There was a V1 of the... Okay. All right, dude. This is this is too much like glitch. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is just too much. Too much like glitch, guys. It looks identical. Um, Besides, you know, it's not a cube. It's like a ball. Uh, Yeah. It's got the same change of colors. You got the same effect going on in the character. It's a, probably a glitch man exclusive. <laughs> Uh, not as rare as, um, I'm blanking. I'm blanking on the glitch exclusive. Oppression. Not as rare as oppression, but nonetheless, a very rare aura. And here we go. The last one for this video, guys. Let's take a look. This is the, the last one for this video. Um, and next video, guys, we'll check out features. Or maybe not next video, but in a future video, we'll check out features and stuff like that. Dude, this one's got a whole intro to it, man. Better not be all this stuff, and then the ore itself is not that good. <laughs> that would low-key suck. Let's see what we got, though. Okay. Yo. Himiko Drifter. This looks cool. What? Yo, this is smooth. It's got such a cool, like, setup and everything. I, it's got, like, a, got a whole GUI over it, dude. Nah, that's nice. Simple. Once again, like, oh, Yo! Oh my, it's like you're playing a game. <laughs> this is like you're literally playing a game. Wherever you move, you have like Rin spawn in front of you that you go through. Nah, that's sick. Dude. Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting such a cool aura for our last one of the video. Guys, that is gonna go ahead and do it for this video. I do appreciate you all watching until the end. Let me know what you want to see next down below in the comments. Uh, also, let me know what your favorite whitelisted aura was from this entire video. I'm going to actually have to go with the aura to a rework. I mean, it is a rework, not a whole new aura. But, of course, I'm a fan because I have overture. And, dude, if we were just to make this bigger and a little bit cooler, I feel like it'd be so much better. Nonetheless, though, it is a cool aura and a nice one to have. But, guys, that is going to do it for today. Make sure you drop a like and, of course, subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you all next time. Peace.